You know, it wasn't funny um, in the end because I thought of all the thousands, tens of thousands of people out there, the most vulnerable um, in our society, really, and, very, and, mo and poor, most of them, who were giving money to this man who, by the way, is a billionaire. Actually, Pat Robertson's net worth is estimated to be $900 million. I mean, here's a man stealing from the poor to give to himself and using Jesus' name. And, you know, I used to think it was funny, and I used to tell this story, and it is funny, but as I, in the last few years, in the last eight years in, in particular, as I've seen the influence of uh, the, uh, and I'm, I want to really say right now that I'm a religious person, and I'm, you know, not anti-Christian in any way at all, but I've seen the, uh, what I think is a malevolent influence of the Christian right in our political system, and I've seen the, uh, I, we've seen the spectacle of three, no less than three people running for president, raising their hands proudly when asked the question, who here does not believe in evolution? So, you know, so I got mad. I started getting really mad. And, I, and as a writer, you know, I try to channel my anger responsibly. So I created a character, a televangelist. His name is uh, Don Spates. And he's a character in my book, Blasphemy. And, um, you know, I, you know, there's one thing a novelist has to do. Possibility, perhaps, that the second coming is actually here, that the apocalypse is on, on us. And he, he really has to, and, and it, he's absolutely terrified. And he thinks, my, I'm not, am I right with, with God? And, you know, the question terrifies him. And then he, he pushes all that aside. No, 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 this is all a bunch of, this is a fraud, this is a hoax, this is not the, the second coming, you know, this is not Armageddon. And, you know, but he has that moment of fear, which, uh, which I hope finds a little glimmer of goodness in him. <laughs> but anyway, so that is uh, my, one of my bad characters. I thought I'd also talk a little bit about the creation of one of my good characters. Uh, Navajo medicine man by the name of uh, Nelson Begay, who was actually based on a real medicine man that I met on the reservation many years ago when I was um, riding horses, uh, retracing.